Hi guys, Emily Kappel here again with Making Math Make Sense. Today I'm going to show you Splat. It is one of my absolute favorite free resources. A man by the name of Steve Wyberney, you can see his name down here at the bottom, has a whole bunch of free online resources that we can download and use. It's amazing. I'll show you how to download those at the end, but first let's get started with Splat. Splat is perfect perfect for this distance learning that we need to be doing right now to stay safe. Splat is something you can pull up, you can screen record just like I'm doing right now, and you can do this with your kids or you can just screen share and do it live with your class. Let's get started. Splat works on supertizing parts, whole, and having conversation about how they ended up getting the missing part. Let's do this. First, Splat is going to show you a blank screen like you just saw. Then some dots are going to come up. This is where we want our kids to subitize. Subitizing means knowing how many items are there without counting them with a one-to-one -one correspondence. So we're not going one, two, three, four, five. We're seeing a group of three, maybe the three at the top making a V and then the two at the bottom on the right. Or maybe we're seeing four on the outside and one on the inside. Or maybe your class says, oh, it looks like the dots on a dice. Great. Awesome. Have that conversation. Have that math talk going on in your classroom. Next, what happens is um, you will see the whole. So all of these questions that are coming over here on the side, on the left in yellow, are going to be there on every splat that you download. So in each set of splats, there are going to be between 10 and 15 different uh, slideshow slides that you get to go through and use. Use one or two at a time. Do all 10 of them at a time. That is totally up to you. But the first set walks you through the question. So how many blue shapes do you see? And the hole always goes up in the corner. So our hole is five. When I do this, especially with our um, elementary age kids, I'm constantly showing them number bonds because that is a familiar tool for them. So right now, five would go in the hole. And the parts are, boom, right there. So splat comes on. And how many can we see, boys and girls? We can see two. So if we have two, what's the other part that goes with two to make five? So our primary kiddos, your numbers are going to stay if you choose the certain number of splats in um, group one or group two, I'll show you those in a minute, um, they're going to stay within a certain frame of numbers, which is where you are going to want to stay. You can do these over and over again with your kids. It's not going to get old. They love it. My fourth graders ask for a splat all the time. How many shapes are under the splat? How do you know? How else could you know? So you're really asking them to dig deep and think. Asking them to share their thinking is huge as well. And then the splat goes translucent so you can see underneath it. So the next one, there we have it. How many blue dots do we see? And having the kids talk about how many blue dots they see, how they group them. I even sometimes uh, freeze my smart board and have kids come up with dry erase markers and circle their groupings up on the board. It's very beneficial for them to share their thinking because they show me things that I definitely did not see. Eights are whole, splat. How many can we see? How many are underneath? Continue using that number bond and then take it to the algebraic expression if you can or equation if you can. Seven plus what equals eight? Seven plus one equals eight. So showing that whole with parts. So here's another whole. How many are there? Three. Splat. How many can we see? Zero. So zero and three make three. So walking them through this, it's far more interactive than a worksheet. So what this looks like is, it looks like this in my Google Drive. So I've downloaded the 1.1, 1 1.2, 3, 4, and 5. A few of them I've downloaded a couple times. And I've downloaded 2.1, 3, 4, 5. I have these just in a folder called primary splats because this is what I'm using with my kindergarten, first and second grade friends. In my Google Drive, I kind of had these organized by different things. I have There are fraction splats, which I'll show my intermediate grades in a little bit. There are two color splats. There are all kinds of things going on here with splat. So where can you get splat? You go to stevewyberney.com. So here's the website, stevewyberney.com. His website looks like this. There are tons of free things. I printed this top 20 teaching tips off just to give me some reminders on different things to do. 
the SD series. Um, I'm going to show you guys in the next week because it is super cool. But splat. Here is the download for Google Slides, which there are 40 lessons. If you do it with PowerPoint, okay, PowerPoint has more series, but I'll just show you what it looks like when you click on um, the splat to download. So he has about a seven minute video that you can watch that explains how to go through Splat as well. But here's what it looks like to download. You're just going to grab each of these and download them with your Google Slides. If you don't need it on Google Slides because your computer has PowerPoint, my work computer does not have PowerPoint, so I have to do all of mine through Google Slides. But you can see here that our primary, our first kindergarten, first and second grade teachers, you're gonna wanna stop after Splat 2.5, keeping within 20, because Splat 3s have multiple Splats, and that's where we get into some division talk with third graders. So kindergarten, first, and second grade, you're gonna stick with Splats 1 and Splats 2. There are plenty of Splats on there for you to use with your kiddos, especially if you're only gonna do one, two, or three a day. It'll take you through a long time. Sometimes I've put these into groups for my uh, third graders, some of my higher second graders to go through and do math talk together while I'm pulling kids and checking their fluency when we've done groups before. So I hope you enjoyed Splat. It's one of my absolute favorite things and it is free. Again, just go to stevewybernie.com to get these downloaded for free. Bye.